Welcome back to Eyewitness News at 1130. Along with Giovanna Lara, I'm Philip Palmer, and we continue to follow this breaking news of uh, three people um, who were seen climbing on the crane uh, that is attached to a building under construction. We are getting word now from police at 11th and Figaro in downtown L.A. that they are going to start breaking down the perimeter. Uh, this all began when they saw two people, three people, I should say, uh, two men and a woman <laughs> trying to climb down that crane. Uh, they were spotted going back into the building and then after fire and police set up the perimeter to try to find them we don't know if they have found them but we do know the latest is that police are going to break down the perimeter and disband the search at this point so if you've seen it that's what it was and you can see that. My name. <laughs> That's a funny one, my name. So, a lot of people like to call me different things. Uh, I go by grid, I go by off, I go by uh, off grid, which is, you know, who I am, Mesa, uh, mostly. Yeah, a lot of people call me OG, Augie, off grid, grid, whatever, you, whatever the fuck you want. Uh, yeah, that's who I am. What do I do? Where do I start off? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Uh, basically, I. I climb buildings, I climb anything that's like over a hundred feet <laughs> and I climb to the tippy top and I try to get um, or show rather say I like I, I can try to show my perspective from the top because I understand that not many people get to very few people get to uh, see just a different perspective from these tall you know uh, um, s skyscrapers tall structures whatever you want to call it it's just really uh it's intriguing the fact that i can show me physically a whole perspective that people didn't even know existed um so yeah that's that's basically what i do when did you start i started uh probably about man i wanted to say if you want to call like my amateur years like you know off camera type shit where i didn't even show anything i started about five years ago and I started uh, by a cell tower over there in my area where I used to live at, where I grew up at. Uh, you know, obviously I can't really say where, but uh, where I grew up at, my hometown, there was a lot of uh, cell towers out there. And uh, so I started out by climbing cell towers. Um, and I started out by uh, simply going up to the top without a camera and realizing that there was a whole new perspective that not only myself I could enjoy, but I knew that other people could enjoy simply because it was that different. And I know that every day someone's chasing for you know, there's always someone out there, or a very big amount of people out there that are just chasing for something different every day because it's, it's very dull. Just imagine it from a whole different other perspective. And that's like, but you can't until you see it. You know what I mean? You can't imagine that other perspective until you see it. That's why I have to bring it to you guys. That's that's why I do this. And what made you do it? What, what inspired you to, to actually try it on your own? What inspired me was simply the fact that it made me feel a sort of safe zone that I never felt. Um, how do I explain that? In other words, I feel way safer up here right now. Like literally right here standing on this rooftop on this helipad. I feel way safer than anybody, than, than I guess if, if I were to be down there on the ground walking around with all these zombies, you know what I mean? Like there's countless people out here that are literally like, I mean here specifically in downtown LA that are just out of their mind. And they're just waiting to, they're really just waiting to get triggered bro by something like literally something that just doesn't correlate to them and boom like they lose control and you can't control that you know what i mean it's fucking downtown la bro like it there's it's like a literally a fucking concrete jungle it's literally what it is so i think what inspired me is that the fact that <laughs> I, i'm almost honestly untouchable up here i feel really uh safe i feel myself i feel that I could act out, I could fucking jump and have my little energy, like my, my weird spurts of like, I got crazy ADHD, you know, obviously you can already tell, I can't even stop moving, you feel me? So it's like, I have to be myself and I can't do it down there simply because, well, I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, I can't, but I can't be this version of, 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 of open and freeness with myself and I can't feel that in my heart if I'm not up here, you know what I mean? Sure, I, I could be fine, I'm safe down there, I got, you know, I got my shit, I'm fine, you know what I mean? I'm totally, I'm totally safe. 
But at the same time, you, there's always there's always that level that you can't control. You know what I mean? There's always someone higher, and, and you gotta respect that. You gotta respect that there's always someone bigger, someone maybe even smaller, someone someone more dangerous, and you just have to understand that, respect that, take that into the fucking heart, and just don't fuck around and find out. Just do your shit. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm doing. That's a good question. Um, <laughs> quite literally, I literally just like I just did it. I I uh, like I uh, like I mentioned earlier, I, there was a cell tower out by my uh, by my hometown, and I just saw it. It was it was just something different about it. Like, if you want to say, like, or I guess if you want to ask what what was eye catching about the cell tower, um, it was just something that I already know that people don't look at the way I look at it. I look at it in a way of uh, something beautiful. Our Ar architecture is just amazing. You know, I mean, it's really weird. You know what I mean? Like the fact that we're on a building, the fact that we're just standing right here on a whole other surface, like 40 feet above the, I mean, sorry, 40 stories above the sky. It's it's really weird. It's odd. You know what I mean? Like we're supposed to be down, we're walking with the people, and we're the weird ones. You know what I mean? It's 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 just different. Um, but but yeah, and it was literally the the fact that uh, that that there was a tower, there was something tall for me to climb. And I just had the urge to put my hands on it. And I just climbed it. Yeah. So as the day went on, we quickly realized that when Off Grid said that the world was a concrete jungle, or in this case, downtown LA, he wasn't too far off. It really is like a concrete jungle. The majority of people live on the ground level, like the tigers. Gorillas, the jaguars, the ant eaters. And then you have people like Off Grid that feel safe in the treetops, like the birds, the monkeys, some snakes. Then you start to think maybe some of us are just built to do this. It's early in the Ooh, that's a good question. Well, honestly, I mean, art is art at the end of the day. Uh, there's really no... It's weird. There's just really no telling. I mean, this can go very badly or this can go very, very well. You know what I mean? And uh, in a bad way, I guess, would mean if, like, you know, let's say all the haters or like whoever, like, the, even the cops, I guess, if you want to say, try to shut me down for my art, like, that's... I'm still gonna come up from that. You know what I mean? Like, they, like it's tremendous to me the the amount of uh, fathom that I have for this art, and I, I just keep going like day to day. You know what I mean? I don't have I don't really have a schedule. I wake up and I eat my breakfast, I fucking poop, and then I go climb. You know what I mean? Um, there's no really telling where it's gonna go. My hope, obviously, would be that this goes very far, very well. Um, I have prints of my photos like getting framed right now at my house. Um, I'm working on that as a personal project to be able to show my perspective in a physical format other than instagram so i want to show that in a frame with my actual print uh, personally signed and with a little description of what that photo is and i want to have that sold and uh, brought to the people because i just feel that i mean how much how how how, <laughs> how better would it be to have a photo like on your on your phone that you can swipe through and then have the physical one like you know up there by, on your by your kitchen wall you know what i mean like if you really appreciate that much if you like that's that's beautiful to me you know what i mean because i know i appreciate that much so i feel that if i do maybe someone else can that's funny my mom always told me to be a news reporter but i never thought that i'd be like reporting like the weather from the top you know what i mean i swear to god i said like sometimes i'll call my mom bro and i'll be like hey mom what's the what's the temperature down there where you're at <laughs> And she'll tell me, and then I'll tell you, well, up here it's like 30 degrees or whatever. <laughs> just fuck with her. And she's like, you're climbing, huh? I'm like, hell yeah. One time, we were climbing the green Vincent Thomas Bridge, the one that goes from Long Beach to San Pedro. And this is before she, my mom knew what we were doing. Really quick. Really quick story. It's actually a good story. It gets you really quick, too. So we can take a break. So the first time we ever we climbed, you know, my partner and I climbed the Vincent Thomas Bridge. Uh, the little story that I told her because she was tracking my phone at the time and at 3 a.m. she tracked me she's like my mom called me she's like 
She's like, why, why are you on the, why are you, why am I tracking you? Why are you on the bridge at three in the morning? And then, well, I didn't answer the phone, you know? And then, obviously we were on the bridge, you know, we're at the very top, 364 feet up in the, in the tower. And my story to her was when I got down when I got, and, and I supposedly got my phone. So basically what I told her was, hi mom, I called her, you know, like, why should I get down? Hi mom, what, what happened? She's like, I'm worried about you. Why, why did I track you and why are you on the bridge? And I'm like, oh, we were walking on the bridge and I left my phone there. I was looking for it all night. She's like, for three hours? And I'm like, yeah, I couldn't find it. So I got my, uh, I got my phone back and that's why I was able to call her. And just, uh, what was it? That was like literally just in time because like the cops had, the cops were on us and as we were getting down, the cops were passing by us on the opposite side. But there was like a center divider, so they can't even they did like they like it was just per time perfectly. And then I was calling I like I, I had just called my mom, so dude it was fucking hilarious. That's it. <laughs> Alright. Alright. No cameras, but this is the door that I'm telling you about, okay? shake this is in, in my way so i don't drink so i don't drink alcohol so in my way this is like my alcohol blanket you feel me like my little like my comfort is this is what gets me in the zone you know what i mean i just gotta be in the zone so i can get to like the next zone you feel me i got the berry brilliance that's one of their classic smoothies two scoops of whey protein uh sometimes I, you know someone told me i'm not gonna lie someone told me that whey is bad for your heart but i don't drink it that much but it's good it's good protein Soy is a little too grainy for me, so whey is just like perfect, you know? It makes it like creamy. It's just fire. So, you know what they wanted? So yeah. Mustang wanted was put in the uh, in the crate box when the cops were on us. And he had actually forgotten his GoPro inside the box when we were already like 10 stores down. And he's like, you go, bro. And I'm like, yeah, I got to get the fuck out of here, you know? Because like, you know, we, 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 we're, we're partnered, but we also know how to get out on our own. Right, right. So right. it's like, we trust each other. So it's not, it's not, it's never like, okay, I'm gonna leave my guy behind. No, no, no. He, he trusts me to get out and to give him feedback on how to get out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. That's, that's, that's how it is. Yep. And, and that's exactly what happened. So I got out first and then it was about two hours later when he got out. There were still choppers overhead, but I was giving him like Damn. location. location uh, I was giving pictures from the outside. I had already changed my identity and everything, bro. I got outside. Took off my shirt, changed my shirt, put on a different hat, changed my glasses, everything, bro. It's different. Yeah. Now I'm just now I'm just some fool in the street taking pictures, you know what I mean? And I'm sending him pictures of like where the cops are and where they're what corner they're moving to of the building. He got out. Uh I got out from uh so there's like a parking garage uh underneath that there's in this construction that they're going to right now. There's a parking garage and then it leads to like the like the opposite side of the of the the building. But there's a stairwell over there. So I took the other stairwell and I just completely like dished it. Like they were on this side when I came out this one. You know what I mean? I, I, they were still at the bottom and they were still like kind of like figure out what, where we were. So they were just moving back and forth. They're no one was stationary yet. So that's why I was able to get out. They said the SWAT team were up to go look for us. They went up three floors and then they figured that they, they pretty much realized that there's, that there's, uh, I don't know. I think it's about. Was one SWAT team, even one, even all of LAPD trying to go through these three buildings, it would just take way too long, bro. Just to find them. You know what I mean? It was like the tallest one is already 60 stories. The next ones are all 42 and 42. There's three of them. So it's like, they, when they realized it was impossible to find us, they just backed up. They left. They called out the team and everything. All right, so down here, really quick, anything else down here is, uh, it's a really fun place. You know, we got some old graffiti pieces down there. You know, for all my writers out there, we uh, we got some old pieces. 
you know, you know, the, nothing crazy. Like, I'm, not, I'm not even that old of a, of a writer myself. I'm just saying, like, uh, you know, some of my first pieces, you know what I mean? And usually what we do down there is just, like, more personal shit. Like, for example, I've, uh, I've gotten rid of, like, some more, like, personal pictures, which is, like, you know, burn that down in the tunnel set yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, So uh, it's a, it's a it's place more, of like, emotion a, as well. Yeah, low-key, bro. It's really, a, it has more of a connection than, like, more personal connection to anything other than like what the tunnel is, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a tunnel, there's trains, it's unsafe, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm just there really just like, I don't just take it all. And like the fact that the trains are going by me as I'm taking in my own emotions, bro, that shit just hits differently, you know what yeah. I mean? It's like, it's like I'm in my safe spot while being on the edge. It's really weird. Right. It's really, really weird. Uh, but yeah, it's beautiful to me. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, I, I was, I was pretty, I guess I would say a decent amount, uh, a pretty normal amount of, 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 of afraid. Uh, I don't know. I, I fucking, I saw a garage open one time and, uh, I decided to run in and I found the, uh, the stairs, you know what I mean? And I got up and, uh, let alone the fact that it was that easy for me and then watching other people struggle it's like it's like i know this isn't for everybody and i know that that only some people certain people have the physical agility the physical will to do this and to actually fight to get to the top because not like don't get me wrong bro this is this this was a really easy spot to get onto you know what i mean and obviously you could tell i mean i don't even know if it's in frame but you can that a lot of people have been here you know what i mean this isn't a hidden spot this isn't one of those gems you know what i mean um uh, it's it, it gets harder as the stories go up, if you want to say, you know what I mean? Like, for example, uh, I have a really, really uh, crazy story, like more of like a personal story behind that white building that is in a frame, the white building. That's called the 777 Tower. Um, I have a really, really personal uh, connection with that building. Why? Because that was the first building that I ever climbed solo, and that's the first uh, super tall building that I climbed uh, on my own, like solo. Uh, meaning like the, the whole mission from the very bottom to the top was alone. Um, I did have a partner from, for the beginning. Um, but he was, uh, I think he got injured or something like that. Like he's, he had like some sort of knee problem and, um, probably about maybe two, three stories in, he's just backed out. And honestly, I think that's what ended up getting me caught because there's a lot of, uh, I didn't know the building is some sort of like federally, federal, it's federally secure or some shit. Like, like they have like some crazy, like badass security guards in there. Like, like they're not fucking around. You know what I mean? So, um, <laughs> they're more, they have, they have more authority in, in, uh, in a, in, in a better spectrum. If you want to say they have more authority and they could literally, uh, you know, they can go hands on type shit with whatever you want. Cause I'm on their building. You know what I mean? Uh, then they really don't know what I'm doing up there. I'm, I look like this and like, who the fuck is this? They have backpacks, you know, I could, do, I could be doing whatever. Um, but you yeah, know that I got on top of that building. It's about 63 stories tall. And, um, I have some, uh, some, uh, some, uh, some inside footage. Yeah. That I'll, uh, I'll share with you guys. Cause it's pretty, uh, it's pretty, it's different, bro. So you got caught when you that one? Yeah. So, uh, I'll probably just I'll probably release some of that footage, low key. Some of the, like, I actually have footage where the security guard was coming through, like, the stair set to the rooftop. And I'm like, hey, what's, you know, what's up, man? How's it going, boss? He's like, oh, not good, man. I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I really have, I have footage of almost that whole night. Like, like, I want to explain why it's personal because obviously I haven't even said anything about it. it it's personal to me because, like I said, it's the first super mega tall building that I, that I, uh, that I, or skyscraper, if you want to say, that I climbed here on my own. And, um, you know, I, I, uh, got to the top, got to the rooftop, I got to the door, everything was on my own. You know, I'm not going to get into details, but obviously I, I, you know, I got up there and, uh, that was, I want to say three years ago. Um, yeah, that was, that was a pretty crazy night. That was, uh, <laughs> cops, cops questioned me, uh, downstairs in the lobby for about three hours. Cause literally it's like, who the fuck is this? 19 year old dude spending like why is he like not a sleeper and why is he not playing fucking video games instead he's inside of a fucking skyscraper like bro like, you gotta think about that that raises some 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 sort of like security questions you know what i mean like it's uh <laughs> it was funny like the cops literally like i heard them questioning they were like they were questioning like the, the servicemen of the of the building and the security guards and pretty much the higher-ups you know what i mean they were all talking 
and they weren't they weren't able, obviously i was able to hear everything <laughs> that's why i'm able to tell you this but they were uh, literally trying to figure out they were all like talking to each other and they're like oh, they were like only one person in this fucking block has the key to get up there how the fuck how the fuck did he get through with them and i'm like i'm just sitting there laughing at their asses bro because realistically i know that like obviously the fact that the fact that i'm not in cuffs yet like this the fact that i'm not like this i'm i'm already good you know what i mean if if i like i would have been in cuffs already you know what i mean you, like like you feel me right like uh the fact that they can't figure half the shit out i just gotta like and i'll be good you know they uh they saw what they saw and and, and that's it <laughs> fucking uh so you were good? yeah no i was i was good bro like like i like still to this day i have a clean record thankfully and that's simply because i i'm a respectful person i'm a nice person i'm a good person you know Oh, bro, there's, there's a whole lot, you know what I mean? Like, this, there's, like, an endless amount. I mean, let's, uh, here, let's let's go into a funny conversation. Um, obviously, still talking about rooftops, but let's talk about 12, LAPD, specifically. Downtown LA cops, specifically. Metro PD. They are really funny people, and I'll tell you why. They really pick, and, and I mean, they pick and fucking choose on what they want to do meaning like 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 let's let's say people are out here like myself just trying to do something very uh artistic in a way and show uh something beautiful that maybe they could even enjoy on their fucking off time with their family you know what i mean but but they see it as we're endangering we're we're doing something so bizarre so out of the books that that we need to be in cuffs or that new that we need to be questioned that we need to be in a fucking mental facility but you know how many times i've been told that i'm fucking that i'm stupid from 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 a person that's supposed to help you and respect you like from a fucking sergeant you know what i mean to have some, to have some, to have me in cuffs like on the ground and just be told that i'm that i'm stupid and pretty much spat on because of how close he is and just told that 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 i need to be in a mental facility and then to just to just be released and to walk away bro it's like dude they're literally like they're fucking with you bro they're like, dude, fucking take me to jail or not. But don't fucking, like, I'm not a dog. You know what I mean? I'm not a fucking animal. That's just a whole different type of, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is, I honestly didn't want to get into it, but it's just, like, I have to. You know what I mean? That's that's truly the rawness of this shit. That's part of it. That's a really big part of it, honestly. It's like, we see a chopper right now, and they might even see us. They might even question it. They might not. You know what I mean? That, that's not a bad thing. But it's just, like, it's, it's different out here, bro. <laughs> like, I don't even know how to explain it, like, other than... Than, 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 than the down and dirty like you just have to sometimes talk about the ugliness to to get the <laughs> to get the truth out you know what i mean and and that's a whole other thing we're never we're never i don't think we're ever gonna get the truth of like why it's like that why they're so left and right you know what i mean other than that cops have been pretty chill uh my counters with them have been pretty uh pretty i guess funny like uh, literally like what i started off with they're funny they're funny people uh they they like to actually ask me why like why uh, why i'm up there they like to look at my camera they like to look at my photos they like they look some of them even uh they follow me on instagram and i just instantly block them you know what I mean? i'm like man like, <laughs> like what is this you know what i mean but at the same time it's like uh no, I'm just playing. They don't follow me on Instagram. Like, I would never even give them my Instagram. You know, people are going to be like, wait, what? He gave on Instagram? Nah. No, I would never do that. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah, no, they're funny people. They're cool, like, half of them. You know what I mean? Like, a little, a little, I mean, like, not even half, like, a little, a little teensy weensy. <laughs> yeah, they are. They, they, are. <laughs> they just, they just really own that power trip, bro. You know what I mean? Like, even the, coming out of the academy, like, you don't even know, or maybe you do, and they're on the power trip just simply because they're LAPD. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're not that special. They're just they're just cops. They're just cops. All right, so battery says at two percent. The shit is about to end. So let's end it off with a fucking bang. I want you all over me.